Hello everybody, welcome back, my name is Noik, and today I'm going to show you how to use and fix driver problems for an Xbox 360 receiver. So, when you get your receiver, please plug it into your computer. Once you plug it in, the green light should flash, this is what mine looks like. Okay, so once you have your receiver in, it's all plugged in, it's flashing, I want you to go to your little start menu, go find your update drivers, yeah, there it is. Okay, so when, you're, when you've opened your drivers that you can view and update and install and whatever, you're going to be brought up with this list. So the driver you're looking for will be in the middle or here at the bottom. It will say unknown driver or device, I think. I can't remember which one, but it will say either. Mine is installed properly, so mine says Xbox 360 peripherals. I, op you op oh. I open up this tab, I go to properties, you then go to driver, update driver, then you want to pick from a list, so browse, you then want to pick from a list, okay so then you're going to be brought up with this list for, for the drivers that your device can use, and you'll be find these two at the bottom. One is this outdated driver from 2009 on this list and one is from 2016. Obviously you're going to need the 2016 one and then I'm just checking if there are any other ones that are more up to date than the one there. There is not. Select that driver, press yes. And when the driver's done installing, it's fine. You'll get a little pop-up message that says, do you want to restart your PC? Uh, I select no. Uh, I do not need to restart my PC yet, but if the driver seems to be not working properly, well, if your controller isn't, um, just restart your PC and see if that fixes it. Okay, so now that we've got the drivers installed, what you're going to want to do is press the button on your receiver, turn on your Xbox controller, and hold the sync button, which is there at the top of your controller. If all done correctly up to this point, your controller should go to player 1, and in a second, your receiver should just stay lit. And that's it. You should be fine to play any game you want. Yeah, assuming it has gamepad compatibility. But here's me playing Assassin's Creed Chronicles China. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for anything you want us to do in the future, please comment down below. And until next time, goodbye!